Hello guys, in the previous video we have implement a recycle view. Now in this video we are going to see how to register for YouTube API and then we will fetch all the data from YouTube API. I am Kegu Radhyaru, welcome you all in this tutorial series. Thank you for subscribing to our channel and if you are new then don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hit the like button if you like the video and do comment. Watch the video till end so you will understand properly. So let's begin. First we will register for YouTube API. Open Google Chrome or any other browser. Then search for enable API for Google. Here we can see sign in link for Google Cloud. So click here. Here first we have to log in the page. Now click here and click for new project. First we have to give the project name. So write YouTube API. Now click here. This will create our new project. Now click here to enable the YouTube API. Here we can see many API. Google provide this all type of API. Now select YouTube data API 3. Here we can see enable button. So click on it. This will enable YouTube data API 3. Now click on a create credentials button. Here first we have to choose the API. So click on a YouTube data API version 3. Then we have to choose the platform. So click on Android. After that we have to select the access authority. So click on a public data. And simply click here. Here we can see our API key. Now click on done button. So our API key is generated. Open new tab and write https colon double slash www.googleapi.com slash youtube slash v3 for version 3 slash search question mark then write part equal to snippet and write channel id. Here we have to pass the channel id from which we want to fetch the data. So I am passing the channel id of stream developer. Then we have to set the max result. So write max result equal to 30. And at last we have to pass the key. So write key equal to simply copy the key and paste it here. Now hit enter button. Here we can see our data is fetched in JSON format. First it will return the region code. Then it will return the page info. In the page info we can see total results is shown. Then it will return the array of item. In this array we can see video id of the video and we can see title, description and thumbnail. So we will fetch this all data to our activity. So let's move to our android studio and fetch the data from this api. So in this project we will use Volley library for fetching data from YouTube API. So open Gradle app module and add the dependency of Volley library and click on sync now button. I will simply specify the dependency in the description. Now open manactivity.java file. Here we will create a function for fetching data from YouTube API. So write private void fetch data. Bracket open and close. First we have to create a request queue. So write request queue request queue equal to volley dot new request queue. In this bracket we have to pass the context. So write get application context. Now we have to create the string request of our URL. So write string request string request equal to new string request in this bracket first we have to pass the method so write request dot method dot get then we have to pass the url of youtube data api so simply copy and paste the url then then we have to create a response listener so write new response dot listener this will override on response method as of now this will showing error because we have not 
return response error listener so click here and write new response error listener so our error is gone now we will fetch the data in on response method so write json object json object equal to new json object in this bracket we have to pass the response so write response so this will showing error because we have not written this statement in try and catch block so simply click here and write it in try and catch block now in our response there is an item array so first we have to fetch this item array so write json array json array equal to json object dot get json array and in this bracket we have to pass the array name so in our case it is a item now we have a multiple result so we have to write the for loop so write for int i equal to 0 i less than json array dot length this will return total number of item now increment the i variable now it's time to fetch our data so now we have to first fetch the json object so write json object space json object 1 equal to json array dot get json object and in this bracket we have to pass the index so write i so this will fetch the json object of i's position now in this array we have to fetch the video id so first we have to fetch this id from our array so write json object space json video id equal to json object 1 dot get json object in this bracket we have to pass the string name so our string name is id then we have to fetch this url so so first we have to fetch this snapped and then we have to fetch this thumbnails so write json object space json snippet equal to json object one dot get json object and in this bracket we have to write snippet now write json object space json thumbnail equal to json snippet dot get json object in this bracket we have to write the thumbnails and in thumbnail we have to fetch the medium so write dot get json object and in this bracket we have to pass the medium so we have created our json object now let's set the data to our model class so write model md equal to new model now first let's set the video id so write md dot set video id so in this bracket we have to fetch the video id so write json video id dot get string and in this bracket we have to write the string name so our string name is video id so write video id then we have to set the title so write set title and then write json snippet dot get string and in this bracket we have to write the title then we have to set the thumbnail url so write md dot set url then in this bracket we have to write json thumbnail dot get string and in this bracket we have to write the url so we have set our data now let's add this data to our array so write list dot add and in this bracket we have to pass the model object so write md as of now this will not work let's understand why this will not work if we look at our item array in the first element we get the video id but in the second element we don't get the video id and in the third element we don't get the video id so in the fourth element we get the video id it means we have to skip the first and second id so in the for loop we have to design the condition that if i not equal to 1 and i not equal to 2 then we have to run this part else we have to skip the block now i hope you will understand this json passing if you have any query then dm me on instagram now let's notify the list so write if list dot size greater than zero then then write adapter dot notify data set change so it will notify the data set 
Now, if we don't get the data, then we will print the error message. So, write toast dot make test. First, we have to pass the context. So, write main activity dot this. Then, we have to print the message. And at last, we have to specify the duration dot so. Now, add this request string to our request queue. So, write request queue dot add. And in this bracket, we have to write the request queue. So, our function is ready. Now, simply call this function. Now, we have to set the permission. So, open manifest file and write user permission and here we have to take the internet permission. Now, let's run our code and see the output. Here we can see data is fetched. So, in the next video, we will see how to play the video of YouTube. If you like the video, then hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you have any query, then do comment or DM me on Instagram. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys in the next video.